Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I'm using my standing desk, so if the background looks all different, that's because I appear to be like nine feet taller than if I was usually sitting down. Got some breaking news out of New Jersey that's come down very short time ago, a very short time ago. And Judge Bum has issued an additional temporary restraining order against New Jersey's uh, carry killer bill, their, in, their response bill to Bruin to try to make sure nobody in New Jersey can obtain a permit and carry throughout the state. Uh, here is page one of the 46 page opinion of which I will link down below. And while you're looking at page one here, this restraining order temporarily blocks enforcement of aspects of the carry killer law for a period of several weeks until the court can consider a subsequent full briefing on the issues uh, raised in this case. Now this restraining order issued by the same judge halts much more of the original killer carry law than the previous one did, including the blocking of many more unconstitutional sensitive places that New Jersey had instituted. We'll go to the conclusion because that's what everybody wants to see. Plaintiffs have demonstrated a probability of success on the merits of their Second Amendment challenge to certain provisions of Chapter 131, Section 7A, specifically subparts 10, parks, beaches, and recreational facilities and areas, subpart 12, public libraries or museums, 15, bars, restaurants, and where alcohol is served, 17, entertainment facilities, 18, casinos, and 24, private property and Section 7B's ban on functional firearms and vehicles and related pre-Bruin New Jersey statutes. The state may regulate conduct squarely protected by the Second Amendment only if supported by a historical tradition of firearm regulation. Here, the defendants cannot demonstrate a history of firearm regulation to support these challenge provisions for which they have demonstrated Article Three standing. The threat of criminal prosecution for exercising their Second Amendment rights as the holders of valid permits from the state to conceal carry handguns constitutes irreparable injury on behalf of the plaintiffs and neither the state nor the public has an interest in enforcing unconstitutional laws. Accordingly, good cause exists and the court will grant in part and deny in part a motion for temporary restraints. And then the rest says an accompanying order of today's date shall issue. And that's Judge Renee Marie Bum, B-U-M-B, uh, U.S. District Court judge in uh, New Jersey. So yet another uh, judge who has the stones to do what the job says and declaring this unconstitutional BS in yet another state as just that, unconstitutional. So New Jersey has another big win. They added more spaces. I know a bunch of groups are going through this right now to dig deeper into this restraining order. But what I did see... Um, in looking through that, I scanned it real quick because uh, I just did that video about Florida. Check that video. Florida may become the 26th state for constitutional carry, but it is not a true constitutional carry bill. Keep that in mind as it doesn't uh, cover open carry. Uh, but I did see this in this New Jersey uh, order from the judge. It says, finally, the court finds that, that temporary restraints will only impact individuals who have already gone through the state's vetting process to obtain a concealed carry permit. So other interested parties will not be harmed if the requested relief is granted. So what that means is you don't have your permit, then none of this affects you right now, is what the judge is basically saying. So anybody who has a permit in New Jersey, this restraining order covers you all. And uh, well, there aren't that many people in New Jersey with a permit. That's one of those states where it's like uh, tough to get one, sort of like Hawaii. But Judge Bum has doubled down on her stance that this New Jersey carry killer bill is unconstitutional, just like New York's. You know why? Because they copied New York's. Just like California's will be, just like Delaware's will be, just like Maryland's will be, blah 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 blah. Guys and gals, I just thought I'd bring you this breaking news. As more information comes out, I will report back to you with more detail. But if you want a link to the judge's decision, I'll have it down below, like I always do. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. If you think the Second Amendment is paramount to anybody's feelings or any other gobbledygook that they're throwing out in the YouTube world or in the public education world, then subscribe to Guns and Gadgets and I'll bring that information to you every single day. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.